Hello everyone, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. That moon vanished. Anyway, uh, let's see. So it has been a couple of weeks. Uh, I hope y'all had a lovely Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, that is. Um, and let's see what we're going to go into next. So it's been like three weeks-ish, two weeks ac more accurately, since I last recorded a, uh, an episode. So I decided that what I'm going to be doing with this is, at the beginning of every episode, I'm going to look through the ship log. Yeah, no, nah, I'll, I'll let everyone see this. I'm gonna look through the ship log and I'll poke around and see what else there is. Gabro's Island. Uh, Gabro's lounging on a hammock near the island's shore. Gabro found a Nomai statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing and Gabro saw their memories flash before their eyes. Gabro remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes, just like the time of the statue. Um... Lunar Ruins. I hear the Nomai built ruins somewhere on the Adel Rock. No one knows no one knows what they are or why they are built. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some kind of device on the Adel Rock. Well, why don't we start with that, honestly? Since it's like literally like right next door. Let's uh zoom in. Oh, that must be that's really funny. I didn't realize that, that even appeared on the map. All right. And then there's the Addle Rock. Hopefully we won't crash. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. And there we go. So, let's grab this, turn on our flashlight. And we already went up to the North Pole, so I guess we'll just go down to the South Pole then. Ah, it's a thing in a place. Okay, so, like... What happens if we put it in this? I see, so we can listen to the sun. This one looks... Giant's Deep, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so we can listen to Giant's Deep. What is this? Brittle Hollow? Yeah. So we can listen into Brittle Hollow now. What's this blue one? Alright, I guess we'll uh, find the blue one. Any time now. Okay, well, I guess we'll go downstairs while waiting for that to function. No. Here's that same symbol. Coleus, I was down- I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can he hear and follow signals from the sun, giant's deep, and brittle hollow. Okay. However, something strange is happening uh, when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. Uh, the device, uh, the device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Felix, I see. I most likely calibrate the locator incorrectly. Private, my apprentice, and I will uh, make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is calibrated correctly after all. It sends me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We will need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we thatch, and we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Our place, uh, our search for the eyes what brought out our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. 
It's over here. This is a curious result. It's possible that the eye has stopped calling out the signal. So the thing that's making it spin... Is this thing? Is that the symbol that they use for the Eye of the Universe, maybe? I guess. Hmm. That's interesting. What else is here? Pick up scroll. So I guess this is a uh, the Nomai equivalent of, you know, a uh, scroll. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than the eye signal locator is. A southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi, Konoi uh, would enjoy that immensely. He's always had a great interest for the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Anna and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. The heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Okay, so... Oh. So, we could go to the Ember Twin to look for that quantum moon locator. Or, we could go to Brittle Hollow to look for the new eye signal locator. And, um, I'm gonna say the eye signal. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself? It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So, this is some kind of Nomai locator. I can point out at different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But, from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think they built- it was built to try and find something spe specific? I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about South Pole of Riddle Hollow, so I'll fly there if I can learn. To see if I can learn more. Yep. Uh, just gonna go back in the old ship and take off. Mostly safe. Totally safe. Oh, stars above. All right. Let's. Uh... Oh, that's a cool little, little detail. There's a bunch of little cracks in it, and like, wow. That's really cool looking. So I guess we'll go to uh, Brittle Hollow then. Which one? Is, where is it? There it is. Maybe we'll also figure out who's playing the banjo. So by the way, um, I know that I'm probably making it look like the controls for this game are really simple, but it's actually a little bit hard to grasp initially. I've just had like probably 70, roughly 70 hours, probably more, to figure it out. Let's see here. So Brittle's ho Brittle Hollow is here. So is the Quantum Moon. So, um, quick warning about Brittle Hollow, if you do... I definitely almost just fell onto Timber Hearth there. Where was it? There it was, yeah. So, quick warning about uh, Riddle Hollow. That orange light there, that is Hollow's Lantern. If you try to land on it, it's covered in lava. I will land on it eventually, but not yet. Um, because, for now, it's hard, and I've only ever done it once. And, uh, as you might be able to guess, it will break your ship. Like, like, it's the equivalent of falling into the sun, really. It also spits out, uh... Spits out, like, rock- not rockets, yeah, rocks all the time. Alrighty! Let's check out what's in this glacier, shall we? I like the areas with lower gravity because you can fly around in them.
And uh, friendly reminder that if you land too quickly, you will uh, you will get hurt. Or also, if you slam into a wall, that'll happen too. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out like a way in. It looks like it's just a perfect dome. That's not my ship. It's, I guess it's the Banjo Boy's ship. He locked his ship. I wonder if there's actually like collision. Well, no, I know that there's there's definitely collision with it, but like his ship looks a little bit different than mine. Where's the hull? Not the hull. The uh cockpit. Oh, that's the cockpit. That's interesting. So each of the ships looks like it has a different design. So up. There is something. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Uh, and that the ship went down and I did sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs. It's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would have barely laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door's broken, and I know I'm not good at exploring. But I think I would have found a different entrance if there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm gonna head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. Alright. Yeah. Looks like whatever handle they used is broken. So I am going to run back to my ship real quick and top off on fuel, because I've actually used quite a bit of it. And maybe, like, move closer to the equator. So, um, if you get hurt, or if you're running low on fuel, you can go to this thing here, and you can heal up, and you can refuel your jetpack, which is very nice. And you automatically refill on, uh, O2. And remember that holding the space button matches your velocity to whatever you're locked on to. Whoa. Is that the ruins? I don't think it is, but it looks cool. So another thing about Brittle Hollow... Um, it's called Brittle for a reason. Over the course of your time... Oh, yeah, over the course of the loop, um, these meteors will slowly break it apart. You can use your scout to check the, uh, the surface integrity. And I think we're supposed to get in on the opposite side of this. Oh, goody. Oh, there was a little, uh, ledge. I'm like, why did I suddenly stop walking forward? Hang on just a second, guys, actually. I gotta check something real quick. Okay, there we go. I toned down the, uh, the sensitivity on my mouse. Because I'm used to playing Slime Rancher, which is nowhere near as sensitive of a game. Anyway, so I've picked up a stone that says Brutal Hollow Projection Stone. So let's, uh... Whoa. That was cool. Looks like there's something else down here, too. Insert projection stone. What's it do now? Solana. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Bells. That's exciting. You're almost ready. There's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. 
the tower on the opposite side of Riddle Hollow. If you follow the path west of the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the direction, Bells. I'll see you soon. Huh. Well, we can go up. It's got to be a way down, though, right? Crossroads, huh? Oh, I forgot about how low the gravity was here. Maybe do not fall into the middle of this planet because um I don't want to like look down and show you, but let me um There is a black hole down there. And so over the course of the loop, everything falls into a black hole. You know what? I bet I could make it to that thing over there. I definitely almost just fell into a black hole just now. Oh well, you know. We've got a time loop going. Like, if I were to fall, it wouldn't be that problematic. The shuttle is currently resting on the quantum moon. Okay, what's... Activate the gravity cannon to the left. Call the shuttle home. And you can, uh... Woo! Oh, I almost launched it into Hollow's Lantern. Let's, uh... Let's call it home and see what's inside, shall we? Sorry, I just wanted to uh, have the scout in your gear so that I could know the surface integrity. Because once it starts getting too low, you gotta just get out of the area. The Southern Observatory is this way, huh? Okay, I guess we won't go that way. Whoopsie! I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand on the first time, for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand that they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. So what, can I use this to get to the quantum moon then? How do I work it? Well, that's not forward. That's not forward. Oops. That's forward! What just happened? Oh, it recalled, I wonder. Woo! Will I miss? No. I think I just died three different ways. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um... Man, I'm worse than Feldspar. Feldspar blew up their ship the first time they uh they left the planet. You know. I
guess how long. Yeah, the uh, the loop was fairly close to ending anyway. All right, let's see what to look at now. The eye signal locator, the Southern Observatory, Rybeck, the Gravity Cannon, the Quantum Moon, Solanum Shuttle. Rybeck, huh? Rybeck headed Riddle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Rybeck landed their uh, ship near the big dome at the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator to look in search of a way beneath the surface. I want to meet with Ryback, like. I just do hope that I don't smash into Hollow's Lantern or anything. Doesn't look like I will. What is that? There you go. Now let's figure out what this big old uh, white thing is, because that does not look like the Nomai ruins. There we go. Surface integrity is 100% for now. Unidentified signal nearby. Signal identified escape beacon 1, frequency discovered, distress beacon. There are multiple of them, I guess. So there's one... So there's one on the Ember Twin, one in, uh... The Spooky Planet, the one that I am not going to for quite a while. And one right here, I guess. Thatch, is everyone on harm? Plume, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. Incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, if it's of any comfort, both pods must be structurally, of, structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can't, or sorry, my gratitude. Uh, Thatch, the moon is appro approaching again. Everyone, brace yourself swiftly. The, vol the volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling, a or be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly, the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Sorry. That is a big explosion. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we need to construct a way for everyone to climb out safely you know, down climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Ship log updated, huh? This one looks pretty worn. Oh. Well, 
I guess it's probably survived a couple of hits. I don't know what these were. Were they like where the nomad stayed? Hmm. Begin flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally mortally injured. Is emergency sequence activated? Waiting departure from vessel. Uh, launching escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1. Alert, collision in a minute. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy verdict. Er, activate. Act. And, uh, adequate solar energy detected. Verdict, hospitable. Okay. I don't know what all these tubes were. Emergency escape hatch. Well, let's, uh... Start going down these things. They don't look particularly stable, though. Oh, yeah, no, they're definitely not very stable. Woo! Plume, use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. It certainly does. Uh. Oh, nope, this one broke too. I like their little light boxes. Can you like? Oh boy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Although this able is all is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. Our temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. There's the eyes symbol. Okay, so this must be the most uh, stable area. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Oh. Signals older than the universe itself. That is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? That is a good question. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must offer it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Kinda does look like an eye, doesn't it? Signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. So the Nomai vessel... Uh... Caught glimpse... Uh, caught a signal from the eye of the universe, which is older than the universe itself. What the heck is that? Those more of those crystals? Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. We must now save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we must not if we're if we are to find it, we need not to merely survive, but to thrive. That is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. It is, uh, if moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we shall do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? 
The one beneath the crust again uh, would shelter us from the moon's volcanic eruptions. Is something falling over here? I think something definitely is falling. So let's, uh... Oh, okay. I was going to say, let's explore the settlement more. But, uh, if it's a... If that part's about to collapse, let's, uh... Let's go through this part, which is honestly really, really trippy, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Because, like, if you look up, you can just see a black hole. Like, check this out. Well, we walk. Let's just see what happens if you fall into the black hole. Oh. I missed the black hole. You can't look straight up, which is a minor downside about this game. Okay, that's good. So this is, uh... Let's see if it'll actually make it through the black hole this time. Yep! Well, there's definitely something up there. I am honestly really scared to walk too far away from these crystals, otherwise I'll just draw. Oh boy, I've only got, uh... Only a little bit of O2 left. Well, not, you know, still more than three minutes. I think it gives you a warning when you have three minutes left. It took me so long to figure out how to get here initially, because I actually never saw this path, because the only time I ever went to the city, this part of the path... Like, the opening of the path collapsed. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. Woo! The start of the path collapsed before I actually reached it. Um. So the way that I actually got to this area is I wedged my ship halfway through one of these cracks. It spent way too long. Or, like, it took way too long. What is that thing? Whoa, that was trippy, dude. <laughs> that was so trippy. What would have killed the Nomai? Like, they're still sitting around a table. They're all, like, halfway through their activities when they died. Okay, I definitely thought I was about to fall into the black hole there. Okay, I guess I'll fall into the black hole then. Let's, uh, let's see what this thing is. Hey, look, there's my ship. Guess my, uh, my ship fell in. Come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Thwop. There's a Ember Twin projection stone. What is this? Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp, hall this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be a lot, uh, can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Riddle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happening while the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp uh, warp platform for, on the floor during this alignment to be warped. It's not rotating. I will not be turning on the rotation right now. Um. I will, like, tell you how. It's... 
there's a there's a crystal and you like move it into these two thingies but I'm not actually going to do that because I'm worried that it might fling my ship off bump This is a really cool way to make an airlock, by the way. So I guess whatever my uh, ship landed on must have fallen. Which honestly is kind of more convenient for me. Anyway, let's, uh, where are we? Oh, wow, we are out here, jeez. So actually, let me see. Escape pod one, old settlement, the hanging city, the white hole station. I wanna go find the other escape pods, actually. Also, I do really like it how even though, like, Brittle Hollow falls apart, you can still access it. Oh boy. Let's go to objectively the worst planet in the vanilla game. However, this is not the vanilla game. This is modded. Um, literally with, like, one mod that'll actually do things. Um, which makes this planet nowhere near as bad. Let me turn that off because I don't like that noise. Let me actually... So in the base game, Dark Bramble is filled with fog preventing you from seeing, and Anglerfish basically preventing you from adjusting your course if you're too close to them. If they hear your rockets go off, they will consume you. Um... And later, I will probably make, like, once I'm done with the series, I might actually go in and make a special video on, like, you know, how to actually access things, uh, without Light Bramble. But, uh, I would recommend that you go play, like, that if you have this game, I hope that you have this game, you should definitely get it, um, you should go look up, uh, Outer Wilds Mod Loader and get Light Bramble, because it actually allows you to turn off the anglerfish, the fog, and the music. All separately, too. Uh, hang on, let me... Mods, Light Bramble... I don't think I... I think I will, uh... swap out the music now. I didn't do it earlier, because, uh, if you do it... Last time I went to Dark Bramble, it was actually because I was reaching one of the endings. Um, and there's something that you need to do as part of the ending in Dark Bramble. The ending involves actually quite a few planets, which I like. Okay. And yes, they did replace it with the Deku Tree music from Ocarina of Time. So the way that you're normally supposed to do it is all you can see is just these lights in, in the fog. So you have to aim, build up a fair amount of momentum, and then stop because of the anglerfish. Okay, maybe I will turn off the music, um, because that is really loud music. Wow. Sorry, I didn't realize how loud that music was. Also, um, so Dark Bramble is kind of like a, dimin a pocket dimension maze. It is... Very weird. And, you know, with with Light Bramble, you could definitely brute force things, but I'm specifically not going to. Whoa. There we go. I really hate going through this area without Light Bramble, because I've had to do it once or twice. 
Um, and it's really hard because you can't really stop. You're just smashed into the glass. I think that's glass anyway. You see that? There are little lights. We'll check those out in a moment. I actually don't think you're supposed to be able to see that. There it is. Oh, that's clever. The devs had it so that the pod was like kind of cocooned. Well, How do I get in? Ah, that's where they set up the, uh, bacon. <laughs> Still carrying this thing. Can I just, like, set it down? I can't. Shame. Oh, what is this? Quick translator. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Luckily, the anglerf anglerfish have gone extinct. Our best chance of survival is to return to the uh, to the vessel to wait the dam- or to repair the damage, or, more probably, a wait rescue. Sika, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon has already grown fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here, quickly. The vessel. Oh wait, shoot, I never, um... There we go. I don't know if that's actually required, but, like, you know, I like to. Also, as it says in the corner, you can hold R to, uh, rotate and roll. Uh, begin flight log. Escape vessel 3, or escape pod 3. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence initiated or activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching vessel 3. Uh... Alert! Multiple collisions of altered pod's trajectory. Sig significant damage to pod detected. Warning! Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Gravity not detected. Uh, uh, breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Do not exit pod. Yeah, uh, they shouldn't exit the pod, I guess. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But isn't possible for the vessel to be in two locations at the same time? I agree. If the beacons are exactly identical to each other, perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already. Din, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it'll be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose the beacon is false! We likely don't have the error to reach the further of the two beacons. Din, the decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Well, I heard it, so like, come on, guys. And then does this just say escape pod? Emerg er, sorry, I meant emergency escape hatch. Boom. So I imagine that this would be awful with those stupid uh, anglerfish. But luckily, the anglerfish have gone extinct. And so now this place's gimmick is that it's kind of just like a maze and it's hard to navigate. Which honestly, I think that they could have stopped there. I totally understand why they didn't. What the... what? Like a, a weird seed. Yeesh, that is not something that looks pleasant. 
Oh. They are dead. Twenty who have come here searching for us. We followed one of the two beacons to the vessel from the vessel to this place, but can now go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single nomad fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to manipulate space itself. Perhaps this was our idea. And to be so close to the location of the vessel, so far, is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. I mean, frickin' compared to Dark Bramble, yeah. No. Whoa. Let's go back to the ship and chase after that duplicate signal, shall we? Where is my ship? This way, huh? I'll just, honestly, I'll take a shortcut, because again... I can. Sure hope the sun's not about to explode, really. Because uh, that might put a dampener on things, you know? You can tell when the sun is about to explode because there's like a special song that plays just before that happens. Up, 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 up. Whoop. Whoop. Whap. Oh, I was sideways. Alright, let's see. The scout that is not in a small boy. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I must have bumped it earlier. Oh man, I almost, uh... <laughs> I almost just recalled the scout. Let me, uh, not do that. Interesting. Can't hear anything in here. Yeah, I think the sun's about to explode, guys. Huh. Unable to pinpoint location. Well, at least let me get close enough to update my log. That way I can go there in another loop. I really like this song. It sounds almost, uh, peaceful, quite frankly. Okay, ship log updated, which means I can find this place again. Righteous! Righteous! Okay, let's see here. Do you know my clan whose vessels hear this message? It's clear that the universe is dying. There are few and fewer resources and safe places within or, and safe places within space now. To my clan my clan and I believe the best option for all our clans is to stay together. If you've reached the gloaming galaxy, we found that Black Rock Sun is fairly stable suns are fairly stable. And life in that star star system is relatively thriving. Okay, time to die. 
<laughs> Life in this star system is relatively stable. Life is thriving. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, so, there's one more thing that I'm going to do before ending out this video. But while I am getting there... Uh. Excuse me. While I'm getting there, I am going to start doing my outro. So, uh, thank you guys very much for coming. Hope that you've appreciated this one. Um, hope that you're enjoying the game so far. I certainly am, given the fact that I've played it for, like, literally 80 hours. Also, someday I'm going to catch up to that blue light. Like, I've 100% I've completed the game, but that's actually technically not part of it. It's not intended to be able to be caught up with. You can, but you don't need to, you know? Anyway. Um. Let's see here. Time to crash land into Giant's Deep, I guess. Um, oh, and I, I do mean crash land, like, he speed. Um, so thank you guys very much for coming. Um, if you didn't know, I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash screwdriver streaming. I update, I stream almost every weekday. Woo! I definitely almost just slammed into somebody's island. That might have been Gavro's, actually. Ah, would you look at that? It's Gavro's island. Let's talk to Gavro. Are you kidding me? Okay. So yeah, if you ever get this alarm and that, yeah, just get out of the ship. Get away from the ship. Run. Um, because the reactor is going to explode in a few moments. And I, and I think you can repair it, but uh, it's not like I really need it. Yeah. Yeah, it explodes. Anyway, so yeah, uh, twitch.tv slash screwdriver streaming, that is, uh, you know, that's where I stream. Actually, I do want to check one more thing here. Does it really take up the entire tunnel? It does. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, uh, let's talk to Gab, bro. Hope you'd be back. Something weird, something really weird is going on. We're definitely in our time. Oh yeah, makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Eh, yeah, if I catch you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. Well, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Then again, it's not like I can know for sure. So it looks like you and I are the only ones who know we're in a time loop. And if you tell them about it, no one remembers by the next loop. What's up with that? Maybe it's because we both made some seriously intense eye contact with Nomai statue. Seeing my memories replay each time I die. Just like I did when the Nomai statue on the beach opened its eyes and looked at me. So, like... Maybe no glow and statue, no time loop awareness? I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find anything new about statues of the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Uh. Hey, my time buddy's back. Heck, okay. I guess I hadn't talked to him enough to trigger it. <laughs> Alright. Um. So, uh. Oh, wait, no, there's ghost matter here. I can just run into the ghost matter and die real quick and then come back. <laughs> Power through. Power through. Oh, okay. Dang it. What a shame. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. So, um, I also have a there's a discord server for the chaos crew um it's linked in the description of this youtube video on my channel hopefully it's on my channel i really hope it's on my channel but yeah um you should check out the discord server i also have a patreon um which will give you what is that oh i think okay um the patreon will give you various roles on my discord server um depending on your um depending on what tier you choose like the 50 dollars tier has a different role than the one dollar tier and everything but the one dollar tier gives you a uh well, that's kind of cool there's that's actually really cool looking everything but the uh one dollar tier gives you access to a special patreon chat 
Though if you do pick the $1 tier, which I really don't mind if you do, I will draw you a potato and send it to you. Um, you know, you're gonna need to, like, join the Chaos Crew server or something so that I can send you the potato. Um, and it won't be I draw one potato and I give everyone the same potato. No, I'll draw everybody their own potato, because, you know, I like sending people potatoes, I guess. I don't know. Um... Uh, uh. That is a dark bramble one. <laughs> now I just gotta find Gabro's Island. I should have marked it. That's not Gabro's Island. I think that might actually be the statue island that he's talk that he talked about. Hang on, let me just, uh... Okay, yeah. Um, anyway. Let's see. I'm not sure if there's much else to, uh, to discuss. Oh, yeah, there it is. Looks like it's, uh... Oh, okay. I was going to say, looks like it... Man, why am I having trouble landing here today? There we go. Yeah, um, so, once again, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will, uh, say goodbye in a moment, but I should be able to learn something from Gabro now. You know, kind of wish I'd built the hammock here before the, uh... For the time loop. How do you stay so calm in the face of repeating impen repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, man, I meditate. Let me teach you. We'll be in the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. So, this is very helpful to have. It basically lets you just end the loop now. So, like, you know, if you get caught somewhere without your ship out of fuel and you're just sitting in space. And you don't want to wait to uh, suffocate or to die in the sun's oncoming explosion, implosion, whatever. You can meditate, and it's really nice. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys very much for coming, and as always, I hope that you have a lovely morning, evening, whoops, and I will see you all another time. Goodbye.